Well, if you measure by research, basic research papers published, excellence of research, U.S. is and will be ahead for the next decade. But if you measure by value created, how much market capitalization, how many users, how much revenue, China probably is already ahead. In and why is that? Well, China has a very large market, which means a lot of data, and AI eats up data. You know, in the age of AI, data is the new oil, so China is the new Saudi Arabia. Simply because they have more people? More people yeah. and also more data measured per person right. because your um, uh, payment is all captured. Right. Everything you pay is by in uh, this mobile book, though, phone. In this book, though, you talk often about this idea of the Chinese historically being copycats yes. of the U.S. Right. Have they now reached a point where it's no longer about being a copycat? That's right. It's, um, I, think the Chinese, I think the Chinese culture is not, does not frown upon copying, as does the Silicon Valley. So Chinese entrepreneurs now will do whatever it takes to make their product successful. That's a really nice way of putting it. <laughs> they don't <laughs> frown upon copying. Yeah, that, that's not frowned upon. However, if you look at the Chinese innovations, the Chinese software that's now being copied from China, I was counting the top 10 companies, that they're worth about $400 billion. Mm -hmm. And these are not necessarily AI companies, but if you measure the AI companies, uh, just our investments, uh, our top five AI companies, right. are valued at about 23 billion U.S. dollars. Right. Uh, obviously, we are in uh, potentially a trade war uh, right now between mm. the U.S. Uh, and China as yeah. well. Yeah. And I'm curious, as someone who worked at Google, and by the way, speculation that Google might try to enter China mm -hmm. again, mm. how you think about the U.S. and technology companies doing business in China and some of these Chinese businesses doing mm. business here? I think both nearly impossible. Impossible? Not because of the trade war, though. I think the trade war is the trade war. It puts a tax on doing business. What has happened in China is there's now a completely parallel universe of software people use, brands people trust, uh, uh, in, uh, product quality that has emerged due to a large amount of data and AI. So just as Google, Facebook, Amazon ha are now uh, really not challengeable in the U.S., Neither are the Chinese companies. So we're going to have two parallel universes with independent. But it sounds like then they're never going to compete. So if they're never going to compete, why should we worry about this? I, I know. I'm not. <laughs> because none of our investments, our companies, are at all dependent on this trade war. Uh, nor are the investors in Google, Amazon, the China, American startups. Right. I think the trade war is not about tech, per se.